What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to run off happened last time, we defended the town of Turin repeatedly against the treacherous Genoese and we've managed to drive them back. Fortunately, we do now have a garrison, well a supporting yes. army, ready to rock and roll. And by the looks of it, we might actually have a bit of a wayward stack down here ready to cause some trouble. Hmm, actually what to do with you guys? I can't remember what the plan was with you chaps. I think I might eventually... Well, let's bring you down here. Let's bring these two sacks down here. And I will um, prepare them for landing against this Prussian enclave. Because it will require a bit of muscle to break them down. And a couple of fights. And we're engaging Milan there. Venice is ours. You aren't really good for anything at the minute, so let's bring in some cavalry. So let's probably get two cavalry, two more pieces of artillery, and then a big howitzer. Good, then you'll be ready to rock and roll. You are replenishing. You're also laying siege to Rome. Do you have howitzers? One howitzer. That's not really very good, is it? Let's replenish. Because they've got... Ooh, 32 pounder that will be able to fire back at me. So I could really do with having some more howitzers here. Unfortunately... I have none. Sir. But it is tempting. Well, let's wait a turn, actually. One more turn to siege them. Brody, oh that's in Laval, that's gone, and Sherry, that will be gone when I capture it. Let's take my College of Divinity, my priest, send him off to Turin to start to convert this population. Perfect, get that religion rest, gone, and we can start to tax you for the, like, the wealthy scoundrels that you are. So in terms of warfare in my other regions, which I'm not going to worry about them yet, I want to focus on Italy. So I might move you up here Men. to fight over this ford if anyone tries to push through. You're all ready for a northward invasion. Eventually I'm going to have to push on the Prussians. East here in Gdansk, but we're at peace. Yeah, I think I'm going to hit end turn. Then I'll probably actually attack Rome. Hopefully the Genoans get inside their fort. Nope, unfortunately. One of them was left running free. And no pressure. I am not giving away any territory for you. To you at all. Because right now they are trapped. They can't really advance west. They can't advance east. And they have nowhere to go in the Baltic. They've really got to figure out what on earth they're going to do and their gentlemen have served no purpose their missionaries serve my purpose they're converting catholic areas into protestant areas so what's not to like about that yeah, you can see the marathas getting very very irate oh, are they gonna actually nope i thought they were going to uh, join me in naval combat Yeah, if you're for Ooh, the Ottomans have declared on me. Okay, so don't call France. And is this where it all kicks off? No, Sweden's... No, Sweden hasn't joined them. So now my movements against the Ottomans begin. War on another front. So my border towns might be vulnerable. Which is not surprising. I'll probably try and remove my garrison force from... Actually, I'm not going to move my garrison force anywhere. Those armies I've got sat on the south coast of France, they will be redirected and landed on the Ottoman coast. Yeah, the Savoyards have... Are being a little scamp... Being scamps. Russia's demanding alliance. You have nothing. You can demand nothing of me. 
If you wish for war, Russia, you have only say. Then we will be at war of the entire continent. But one enemy at a time. I want to squash these Italians first. Or these... Or at least have a good chance at squashing these Italians. Oh no, that's where those two armies were going to go. They were going to go hit the... They are going to knock out the Icelandic... What knock out the... Uh, Spanish Icelandic holdings, so actually I'll probably send No, more mu well, I'll, ha I'll have a look. More muscle on the European front might be a good idea. And I need to send my rakes to start assassinating those religious people, because they could cause me some problems. Because I'll probably do a better job than my churches at converting my areas. And I really don't want them to do that. I very much want them to be Protestant. Sorry, I'm just plugging in a lamp. To provide a bit of backlighting. Persians are going to keep being scamps. But I'm really not bothered by them. They're just a hand. Um, breakwater. For my forces in. Against me for my forces to not. There's a port in this region. Trade we raided indeed. Let's upgrade the port. Let's go down here. So this is the army that got a hell of a drubbing. Make ready. They're on their way. Enemy raid in Mosul. Fair ready enough. For These guys are still. Ready for At the ready. Ready for and they should. These guys should Sir. be moving up. Ready and ready for Your humble and let's move up uh, some native African infantry. So let's start to move these guys up here Forward. to begin to engage them. Yes, let's keep these together as a bit of an as a bit of a reserve of infantry. I've got some building going on. Construction of Naples. Okay, so where are my rakes? Sir. Well, and that artillery is going all of that direction. Lovely. Aha, here's a rake. It were, ooh, you're very good. To be honest, they are converting Spanish, uh, phew, um, phew, their own territories. They're just, it's just a pity they're going through mine to get there. But first, let's get under India. Okay, so let's take yes. you. You can run through and lay siege to Genoa. To be honest, I might even assault that. Settlement besieged. First, let's do. Okay, well that's not really much of an assault, they so I'm gonna knock that out. Wall up. And this Settlement army, they took a bit of a bit of a hit. You're going to assault this garrison. So let's capture Genoa, cut off their armies in the west, support stack they've got to be destroyed completely, which would be interesting. But recently what's been happening is that I've actually managed to be able to fight I mean, too much of a frame rate drop because I'm being artillery prior to the engagement. So hopefully we can keep that going and stop it from being as much of a major problem as it has been in the past. And I've got two good sized howitzer units here with large calibers. Okay, so let's not a great pos this side is not a great position for artillery. Then again, they do lob their shots. Okay, so let's do this in order to spread out, spread the gunfire out a bit, make it a bit more resilient. Put my twenty-four pounders in the centre. Good field of fire for for um, round shot. Then let's put not round shot, quick line shot. Let's put my garrison guards. My foot guards and that many infantry in a covered position, such as the woods. They are all hidden. Good. So I want to be a then have these guys as, as either these these guys can either secure breaches or I can use them to assault um, nearby sections of the wall. Then let's keep my cavalry with them here with my general. Good. Let's open up. You blow a hole there. You blow a hole there. 
You guys fire at will, I suppose. And yeah, they're all gonna. What are you? Garrison foot infantry. Unfortunately, can't hit the center sections, so I might just keep them. <laughs> I've got my banner, I'm gonna go where I please. By the looks of it, my artillery has managed to do a reasonable job. And it looks like they are preparing to form up to defend this breach. These are all 24 pounders, so they are good at defeating. Ooh. Look at them to hit this unit that's forming behind the walls. Out a bit. Fire! So they're going to hit the gate. I want my other boys to, to land in here because that's a lovely little target. Ooh, a bit of an edge, side of a hit. Ooh, that's a more like it. See, so these guys could actually go around here and start securing some of these sections of the wall. For really... You know what, I think I will. As there is no threat over on this side, I am just going to send these guys up. It's going to be difficult for them to dislodge me. I'll probably move... Move my cavalry up with it. At the very least, it provides me options to run my cavalry through the middle. Carabiners, Regiment of Dragoons, Regiment of Horse, General's Bodyguard. Ooh, I forgot about you. 8 inch mortar garrison. Or garrison mortars. Forgot about them. So I'll probably want to attack when my when my position's a bit more firm. Because the main thing with artillery is they do like uh, being able to focus fire their targets. If you don't give them an opportunity, you instead provide... If you attack all at once, no one focused effort is going to actually be too devastating. So, you know, when I've made holes in the walls and I'm attacking around this flank up here, up in the gates, and I've got units landing here, I'm attacking everywhere, it's much more difficult for them to actually gain interest to stop me. this wall a couple more volleys should knock it down so the mortars are still firing but I don't think there's anything in range I don't think so lovely Focus on the armed, on the infantry, not on the armed citizenry. But by the looks of it, I'm probably going to have a breach in this wall. There we go. Breach made. I mean, the breach is made there. To be honest, let's make this battery focus on this section of the wall. Even if it's just to damage the, the walkway, so that maybe they won't be able to flee down.
one last hole because ultimately I don't need to cap I don't need to capture um, the force intact Time to move in. So let's keep this artillery unit firing. Shrapnel on the breach. Let's see if they can actually get over the ridge. The shells do successfully get over the top. They're a bit ragged. They're doing the trick. The AI is beginning to respond. Let's just make this unit hold fire for now. run these infantry up because they'll be able to fire onto these cavalry artillery units let's run these guys up otherwise they're going to be a bit redundant or at the very least they're going to be very badly timed now oh, my foot artillery units are still open fire even though they're on bolt fire There we go, the breaching forces, or the forces they're using to cover the breach, are being very, very, very meticulously worn down. I've got to get my cavalry involved. These guys' job is just to hold. run through this infantry unit. Pull fire. Good, the Genoans are realising their folly. Garrison guards in, hold my shot. Let's get both my cavalry units to change to round shot to bombard their mortars. I would very, very much like to get these guys at the walls. Get them to capture this. No, nope, you guys abandon that. Get these guys up on the walls to fight their infantry. When the wall is captured, I want to run these guys through the gate. Come on, this way. Charge in. It's nice of them to to form square even though you know what 
Let's pull my cuirassiers back. As there's a square formation, let my line infantry float through it. Poor, poor devils. Oh, the regiment of horses managed to tie up my infantry units at the gate. We use these guys to fight the last infantry unit, and then they can just spill in, storm the centre. I don't want to send all of these guys in because they'll take. They won't, it won't be done any quicker. I may as well just let one unit attack the wall, attack the gate. Sorry, the breach. Dragoons are trying to be a bit too clever, so let's run my general up. Effectively halt fire. They're shooting some of my men before they climb onto the walls, but they're not going to kill me faster than I can get on the wall. Oh, come on, just kill that one guy. There we go. And you three. Run up. Bombard their general. There you go, the 34th foot guards. And we pride up place to open fire into these enemy formations. They can actually charge up to me to fight me. So when do you fire? Well, let's see what happens. Halt fire, because I was going to shoot my general otherwise. Okay, pull my infantry out. I'll just make my infantry walk into the combat. Because ultimately, the battle is won. Folks fire on these, these poor, poor guys that are manning the guns. Fire on his foot infantry, charging his foot infantry. Oh, battle, horse v man. Will there be a dynamic outcome? There's been two slashes and nothing. Three slashes, right, that's enough. run past the general at this point. So you run them there to capture this gatehouse, run my general in. You garrison that house, even though there's no real need. Brave cavalryman. Get him! You chose the wrong time to charge in, Sammy. Yes, the general's been annihilated. Well, their, their cavalry artillery has been annihilated. Their general has been routed. I think that's everyone. So one thing I do like about Napoleon is it does change the symbol here if they've been routed. Oh, moly. Well, that's general over the reinforcements. They've not even got onto the battle yet. Do you hope that doesn't mean it's screwed... Well, it hasn't screwed the game over, because... You know, I hold the centre. So let's triple speed it.
There we go. The brave United States forces. 33rd Foot Guards, just a regular old regiment of foot. They've run out of numbers. And 34th Regiment of Guards. 34th Foot Guards. Let's see, he's got 5 o'clock shadow. He's got a stunning beard. No, actually, it's like mutton chops. But send the battle there. Heroic victory. Genoa is... Good. Has that? It has wiped. Oh, that's been that's perfect. It's knocked the Genoese off of the map. So this army that's not, I know it's massively overspec to do it, but just go there and attack that unit. Virtue and valor unconquered. So I don't need to send them south, really. Okay, hold the phone. Let's take you back. Let's take you up here. I will deploy these two up here to go fight the fight the Spanish. Because um, I've got a few armies here to launch attacks on. Ultimately, I'm going to have to attack France. And everyone's going to hate me for it. But, you know, got to do what you got to do. What about Norway? Who's Norway allied to? Protector of Sweden. So if I hit Norway, I hit Sweden as well. Oh, do I just declare on what? I don't think I just declare on Russia. It's not so simple as that. So this is their force that looks like it's coming for Transylvania. I can't get there in time, which is okay. Serbia's still recruiting militia. Oh, you can recruit West European mercenaries. Let's take this. Let's just take this army. It's depleted. But let's bring it down here. Take a few turns, but that's okay. You, you're in good shape. Lay siege to Warsaw. Can I move this army out of Breslau? I can. Because ultimately, I'm going to need to form a, form a position to go hit. The Prussians. Can I get this? Ooh, you got a hell of a hammer in. Let's get you some elite heavy infantry. Ooh, riflemen scouts. Right. Let's get two riflemen scouts. And then let's get uh, one unit of grenadiers. And unit of Republican Guard. Good, and that'll fill you out quite nicely. Sir. You're waiting for artillery. You... Oh. Okay, let's, let's do that. Put the horse dragoon guard on the border. Ultimately, you're going to have to square off against this army. It has an organ gun. That's pretty neat. But yes, they'll come to us. And when they do, the garrison of Athens will be... Actually, no, that's... Okay, bring you out. Because you don't have a general. Good. Good, you guys sit back as a bit of a reserve. Can I move this army out? I can. Perfect. Not into range yet. Garrison Athens. Cool. Oh, yeah. This army's going to go take Azerbaijan. Just to... We are triumphant. Wow, they Fair really made me pay for that. So this army is going to be a bit of a holding army because if the Russians go for me, then Azerbaijan's a natural target, and they've got lots of forces in the region. If I took Persia, that would give me a direct land border with Afghanistan, with them the Marathas and Savoy, which obviously I don't want. So you probably, you won't be able to move up this turn. You're still replenishing. The next move will be to capture Rome. To catch Rome and then to ship these armies up to knock out Spain once and for all. Because what would that mean for here? That would effectively mean that New Mexico becomes owned by pirates, as does Santa Fe. Then once they hit France, then all of these become more of a mopping up exercise. 
Sweet. But yes, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time.